Hello YouTube, Western 97 here bringing you a continuation of my Let's Play Fallout New California. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, leave a like and let me know you want to prioritize it over the games to play. I'll do that here. That being said, hopefully, the new mod I've just downloaded fixes the crafting problem and we can actually use workbenches. Uh, we'll find out. Wow. Those rangers just. Hey, that guy. Um, that's a bit of a graphical issue there. I blame the engine. Paul Whitman blames his tools. But it is the creation engine. That was a bad conflict. The shack. Whoa! Frick! I think they just blew my backside up. Um. I chuck their freaking rockets or missiles or whatever the hell I ran over. Yeah, that's a bad, don't want to sleep there. Has one of these got a rocket launcher? No. Pretty flowers. No, oh, healing's still going up. That's okay. There's enemies in here somewhere. Ghouls. Kill the ghouls. Oh, those. We'll take it anyway. So I guess that's for survival mode. Come here, dog. Back, Neil. Actually keeping me over there. Okay. Uh, 
Hunting rifle will keep. Where's the rifle? Yeah. Alright, alright. Yeah. Now keep the grenades just in case. Come on. Let's go. Where's the NCR run off to? Not doing very well if the raiders are literally ambushing everyone on the road at every single black stadium mode. swore on my mama's grave. Get that gate open. Did she just blink? She's blinking. That's freaky. Blame the game engine. It's gonna be the battle grind for all the way through this. Ranger. Ranger. Aha! Hold up, stranger. This area is under military lockdown. Do you have your new California passport and ID? Uh, nope. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but you've walked a long way for nothing. We can't let you in. I'm already you have to in. be a registered member of the NCR military to set foot in Union City. We're at war with the Raiders. Okay, so there's a bit of much problem there. Went around the trouble at I-15, huh? You should head back and talk to Jameson. But I'm already in, so... Stuff you, basically. I kill you. I kill you all. And you left the gate open, so... I can walk in and out as I come. Come on. Say, Jameson's here. So. Bank. Sandcrete dwellings in our sight with shanties. Gun runner. Class against okay. your outpost. The last fart before the shit of civilization. I don't know, we got option for um audio. Not that up for that. Supply We got subtitles. Cause I keep saying stuff in the background and I can't pick it up. That is a well-preserved building. Well, 
level up. Whoop whoop. Um. Hmm. Starting to need guns up, I think. Put five into there. One in the border. Tend to prefer the energy weapons due to the amount of damage they do in the end, but all the guns I keep finding at the moment are either normal weapons or actually. What if I use melee weapons? Um, because why not? Because I am running around smashing people's heads in with a baseball bat, so. Kind of makes sense. Though I don't typically play a sniper playthrough in this. See this general ASAP and leave the kid. He's with me. You are one fat guy. Captain Jameson, what the hell are you doing in my office? Can't you see we're having a meeting? Sirs, okay. I apologize for the intrusion. This is Carrie Vargas of the Desert Rangers. Well met, Ranger. What's this about, Captain? Sirs, I regret to inform you that our convoy was ambushed by raiders at the I-15 Beltway. What? What happened, Captain? Details! Able Company was ambushed minutes before we were. We got their radio transmission and double-timed it to their position. My unit, Baker Company, followed them in. We were pinned down until Ranger Vargas and his vault dweller intervened. We eliminated a survivalist commander immediately ran to Union City. I'm sorry, sir, but Able Company was lost. You mean to tell me? that a band of raiders successfully ambushed 80 men. Yep. Sir, the raiders were in force and were assisted by aircraft. They had vertebrates bearing enclave marks. Captain, do you understand the gravity of your claim? Are you certain? Yes, sir. Ranger Vargas can confirm. Yes, sir. I can. The survivalists appear to possess enclave technology. They overwhelmed my unit with plasma weapons 10 minutes earlier. General, if what they're saying is true, we can face an imminent enclave threat. Gentlemen, the contents of this conversation are classified. Everyone leave this room except the kid. General, I have to object. Get out! All of you, now! Sir, I will have to inform the Joint Chiefs of this. Vault Dweller, come here and take a seat. I'd like a word with you. Staff Sergeant, close the door. Well then, I'm very pleased to meet you, Vault Dweller. My name is General Silverman, head of NCR forces in this territory. If my subordinate is correct, you may have unwittingly fallen into possession of top secret NCR intelligence. Am I correct in having understood that your vault was captured by Enclave forces? Nah. No? All right, you helped my men get through a rough situation back there. That earns you points. But talking out your ass like that will get you nowhere with me. I need something from you, something valuable. Now you can either try that again, or I'm going to find a way to open your head and take it. Um. Good. Now. About those enclave you had in your vault. Mm. 
Never heard of him. Like I said, they've been gone 20 years. They must have a base out east, low on manpower. I'm going to venture a guess that by us, you mean healthy adult humans. That sounds like their M.O. I don't know if you're aware, but they've pulled this old stunt before. You're just the latest. So, how'd they get in? Hmm. You must be a highly competent soldier to pull off a counterattack like that. You walked across Raider Alliance country, killed a psychotic commander, and before that, you defeated veteran Enclave officers in battle. I'm starting to get a picture of you as quite an asset. What do you say we have a talk about continued service in the NCR? You're sharp. You know I have Dr. Rossmus' treason card up my sleeve. I could always blackmail you with that, imprison you for life. But you will notice that I haven't asked where he is, or if he's alive. <coughs> I don't have to ask questions I don't need to hear the answers to, do I? They all freaking typical NCR. What happened to the good old days when they got captured by raiders and we got to save them? I can't promise you much, but I'll have it taken care of. You people have been through quite a lot in the past few days. You're free to rest here. A man named Marius lives north of here. He'll be glad to let you stay with him until more permanent accommodations are available. Not quite. You see, I've needed someone in your position for a long time. Someone outside my chain of command. Someone not NCR. The New California Republic is in a tough position. We're facing a civil war between the powerful she-banks, the mob, and Congress is deadlocked. My country's army is tied up in bureaucratic bullshit that's staying my hand. It's getting good men killed while the hub's politicians get fatter. I'm afraid these survivalist raiders are a true and serious threat to our nation's security. Congress doesn't agree. They just want to sit on it. If even a fraction of the reports from Arizona are true, there is an army on the horizon big enough to bog us down in war for decades. Yep. I'm not just saying that the Raiders are a problem because Union City is my hometown. I'm saying they might get us all killed if not dealt with. With this news that they are in bed with the Enclave, I just can't risk it. I need people like you to go above military order and stop them. There's no way I can trust Congress or my superiors with this. It has to be you. And for it, I guarantee you will be taken care of. Mm. Eh. That's a good question. What I'm going to leave up to you. Give me a day to sit on it. I've got some questions to ask and a serious situation to ascertain. I'll have your answer tomorrow. In the meantime, feel free to sit back in town. Grab a drink on me. I bet you ain't got any cash. Here's 20 bucks. Spend it smart. Dude, I've got like three or four thousand caps. I'll let you know when I've reached a decision. Head on out the door and wait. What the shit is going on out there? You better get out there and help Jameson get a grip on what's happening. Staff Sergeant, open this door. I want to report on what those raiders are up to ASAP. Bombing you from vertebrates. What's it look like? And no one seems to be panicked about it either. I go smack him with my silly stick. Spirits aged over 200 years. 
worse. <laughs> uh, at least they used to say that made it taste better. Uh, what can I do for you? Here's what I... Right. Oh, we got that I don't care for. You have no cat. Okay. Come back. You have no money. You are useless to me. Come on. The raiders are massing their drugged up berserkers and slaves along the wall. We have to strike back. Guess we're going to the front door then. Hey, Alpha. Had his neck broke last time, he definitely does now. Whoa. Oh, I want that laser weapon. Give me way bad. Yeah, that's better. Sit down. Weapons on this are worth a freaking fortune. Bolt uh, Viking blade. Yes. I will get there eventually. One time in the century. Slay colors too. Right. That is not quite as good as that. Still over about him. Dang it. Dug out. Opening storage unit. Um. Good boy. 
Let's find a shop. There's several shops in here. Oh, wait. More raiders to loot. Oh, that's a cat's eye. Never mind. Monk. Sell some gear at the she bank. So I just want to offload some of these crummy, useful items. Good afternoon. I am a representative of the New California Republic's she bank in Angel's Boneyard. Are you? Is that a pip boy? Hmm. Must be very brave walking around with that. Some might pay a fortune for it. Mm. Of course. When you open an account here, you can deposit and withdraw funds via our digital database whenever you come and visit us. Every few days, you will get interest paid back into your account. We'll send a notification through to your pit boy We can, of course, disable the notifications if you come and see us. The account itself is free, however, you will need a deposit of 500 caps to actually open your account. Would you like to open an account? Mm. Your choice, of course. How else can I help you, then? I'm not covered in dirt and killing innocent people. No. Those are not sheep. Those are dogs dressed like fools. They are not our people anymore. The place you see before your eyes is the magnificent She Bank, which, until recently, was the most secure banking facility in all of New California. After years of operating our business here, we have transformed into the bank that everyone can trust. Mm. Let's, let's give him 500. Now. Nah. The amount seems to all be here. Please come and see me directly if you would like to make any transfers, changes, or to close your account. I hope you will enjoy your experience with us, sir. He looks really tiny. Mm, kind of really, really tiny. Patrolling the past almost makes you wish you were on the frontier. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Welcome to the She Bank. Nowhere else is more trusted in the Republic. Of mm. Mm. How much would you like to deposit into your account? Five hundred caps have been deposited into your account. Of here you go. Cool. Um, I assume that's that. Of course, sir. You are always welcome here. Please come again. Right. I think that's a. Fair place to end it. Good job killing that Nos prick. He's been a thorn in our side for years. Actually, we'll just check this computer. And that doesn't seem to do anything. A bit of shame.
Nothing that gives me rights. Right, as I was saying, it seems a good place as any to end the video here and say I've been watching the This has been my Let's Play Fallout New California. Hope you enjoyed the series so far. If you are, leave a like and let me know you want me to prioritize every other game I've played. I do play for you. That being said, as always, until next time, take care, goodbye, and thanks for watching.